Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we have empties. So I'm giving you another overhead style video uh, for two reasons. Uh, first is that I think it's quite nice to see all the products up close. And then the second one is that um, I'm not the most fluent person when it comes to, you know, regular speech, day-to-day -day speech. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that English is my second language and sometimes I do have to think a little bit more about what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I do a lot of uhs and ums and stuff like that. When, and when I've done the last empties videos uh, this way, I found that I was maybe focusing a little bit better on the products and remembering a bit better what I wanted to say about them. So I think I will keep my empties in this format for now. Um, obviously, depending on feedback, if you really don't like it, I can go back to being showing my face, basically. So... Uh, this is my empties bag. As you can see, it's overspilling, so um, overdue for an empties video. I will um, put everything into categories as I usually do, and then talk about everything. Okay, so I'm going to start with the clutters as I usually do. I do include the clutters in my empties videos because I don't like keeping things around if I decided they don't work for me, or maybe they expired or something like that. I don't want to wait. A full year sometimes until I do a declutter video so I include these in my empties so as you can see I have three concealers here um, the reason I declutter these two is because they don't match me um, this is the power stay concealer in shade uh, light neutral light um, and it's a little bit too yellow for me and then this is the Rimmel lasting radiance concealer I'm trying to see if I can find the shade on it. Shade Nude, again, a little bit too yellow for me. Um, and I have plenty of concealers that I can give a little bit more um, attention now that these are decluttered. I've also had these for quite a while as well. Another concealer I've decluttered is the Hydrating Camo Concealer, the Satin Finish one in shade Light Peach. I really enjoy this shade. I think... As time went on, either my skin changed or how this performs on me has changed uh, because I've noticed more and more that it was um, not looking that good under my eyes. Um, so yeah, I've decided to declutter it. I've also had it for, for a while. I have also decluttered the Birds Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I had this for way longer than a year. Um, and yeah it's just uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit scared to put it on my lips uh, but it's really nice balm it's um was it a dupe for um clinic black something um but yeah i'm just too too scared to put it on my lips now more makeup <laughs> I've decluttered the Elf Party Eye Primer. I haven't had this long, but it is absolutely terrible. Uh, it is very, very hard. You can hardly, hardly pick up anything. It doesn't have the putty consistency at all. Got the putty bronzer and the, the consistency of the bronzer is so different to this one. And I think you can even tell. It's kind of like dried out even more. It's come off the sides. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like rock, so it doesn't work at all. I've recently got another primer from e.l.f., which works much, much better. I will link uh, the video that I'm talking about there, because I've tried it in a video. And I've also decluttered this eyeshadow palette from Kiko Milano, which is this one here. This one was the Conscious Vegan Eyeshadow Palette in shade Less Is More. So this one has an availability of 12 months since opening. I had this for over a year. Uh, normally, I do keep eyeshadows for way longer than uh, the symbol on there. Uh, but these ones have kind of changed. They were a bit meh to begin with, so not the greatest. Um, but now they they seem to have kind of changed and get barely any payoff. Um, the payoff wasn't that great to begin with, but this shade used to give me the best payoff. Um, and even now, it's yeah, I guess this shade is still alright, but the rest, barely any payoff. So I'm thinking that it just expired. And that's why. Okay, I have decluttered this hand cream. I don't particularly suffer from dry skin or dry hands 
but this one didn't do anything <laughs> so yeah I decided to declutter it and I've also decluttered the Dr. Organic Orocon Orocon Organic Moroccan Argan Oil Instant Tightening Eye Serum and I think this one uh, dried my eyes a lot um, it took me a while to realize that it was this product um, as you can tell but I kept waking up with very red eyes uh, dry eyes um, and yeah I finally realized that it was this product after quite a, quite a while of using it uh, which is a shame because it did really work for tightening the skin around my eyes I didn't use it in the evening by the way I used it in the morning but I still which is why I think it took me so long to uh, to realize it was this product okay let's do perfumes next fragrance uh, so I have the scent mix in pure ocean from Avon really enjoy this one it's very fresh and airy uh, lovely for summer um they have discontinued this one but i managed to get another one in my uh, most recent avon haul uh then from avon the attraction game for hair a little mini sample i can't even remember what this one smells like i think i did like the smell but not um that much that i would get the full size bottle a sample from jo malone the english pair and frisia Cologne, Cologne. Um, really nice and fruity. I really enjoy this one. I have a sample from BDK Perfumes, the Grey Chanel one. Um, I have two other ones. Uh, these ones were member rewards for, uh, for from Latest in Beauty, uh, which came with my subscription. And really enjoy this one. When I first apply it, it smells a little bit like a replica by the fireplace and then it turns a little bit more mellow. So really enjoy this one. Um, and then a sample of the one perfume that um, most recent Jennifer Lopez perfume. Really enjoyed her perfumes in the past. And this one disappoint, didn't disappoint either. Enjoy this one as well. Okay, next I have cleansers, makeup remover. So I have this nail polish remover from Sainsbury's. Um, cheap and cheerful. You know, <laughs> not more to be said. Uh, this I got in a Feel Unique Pick and Mix. The Smoothing Cleanser from Suravi. Um, this one is supposed to be for uh, blemish prone skin. Um, I've used this in the morning, it felt very refreshing. Like this one. From Botanics, the Micella 3 in 1 Cleansing Solution. I have enjoyed this one as well. Um, didn't dry me out or anything effective as micellar water so yeah we enjoy this one from Avon the oxy pure oxygenating cleansing foam uh, this one is suitable for all skin types yeah um, smells very fresh very nice but I think I do prefer the original cleansing foam which is called the fluffy foam one uh, which is more suitable for my skin type because I have combination skin and I like how that one leaves my skin feeling after it uh, leaves it feeling uh, very soft it's kind of like a matte softness feel to the skin which I really enjoy this one is nice as well I just enjoy that one better and then the Karmar cleansing butter from uh, the body shop um, I have completely cleaned this one I'm trying to think what to do with the skin I want, do want to repurpose it so if you have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> uh, quite effective for removing makeup. Um, if you have dry skin, normal to dry skin, I think you'll really enjoy this one. If you have more oily skin, it might feel quite greasy on you. Um, maybe you'd prefer it more in the winter time. It wasn't super duper effective on mascara. I felt like I had to go several times over uh, my lashes to get the mascara off uh, compared to other cleansing balms and butters. Uh, but other than that, it was very effective on removing makeup. Okay, I'm going to do toiletries now. Uh, I don't keep every single shower gel. Uh, I also got like hair stuff. Um, I don't keep every single shampoo either. Just some things that I want to talk about. Uh, so first I have this little set I got as a gift from Soap and Glory, the Jingle Blooms one. Um, wasn't my favorite because I wasn't a fan of the scent. Um, 
so we had the body wash and body butter this hand exfoliator from Jules it's called perfect pruning <laughs> I've actually used it as a body exfoliator uh, was very very harsh uh, even for my hands I found it very harsh so I use it on my body mostly my legs these two shower gels from Avon I think they have a little supplier issue with these shower gels now so I don't think they're back until uh, was it August that I've seen but they are so nice this scent is really good for all the family to use and this one is a little bit sweeter the buttermilk and cocoa they are very hydrating really nice one this one i managed to get through the philonique pick and mix it's the is it neon a super shower power body cleanser with spearmint rosemary and eucalyptus very very fragrant and very nice i have this pear bath blend from the body shop um this one is only enough for four baths. Um, to me, that felt quite expensive. It feels very luxurious. It has a very nice scent, but uh, I just think it's a little bit expensive. And then I have some bath salts here. Uh, this one came in a collection box, the Olverum bath salts. Uh, they felt very, very nice. I think they're quite expensive, so I wouldn't purchase. Uh, Dr. Tears, Dr. Tears, Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salts, uh, the lavender scent, which I really enjoy the most. I uh, really like these bath salts the most. They are a little bit pricier yeah, compared to the other ones, like the West Lab ones, for example, uh, but definitely worth it, in my opinion. And I have recently discovered magnesium flakes. Now, if you struggle relaxing in the evening, um, you know having a good night's sleep these can really help first time i've used this in a bath i felt so so relaxed and i had the best sleep i had i had had in ages um so i do have another bag of these already in my bath they are even more pricier than the epsom salts but they are worth it uh, they are multi-use as well uh, you can use it obviously in the bath you can use them as a body mist, a hot towel compress, foot soak. Yeah, so you can get a few more ideas on the website over there. If you can see it, it's cmagic.com slash home spa. Um, so I highly rec uh, recommend magnesium spa flakes if you have issues with relaxation. Uh, since I talked about hair products, uh, this is what I used. This is the shampoo that I kept to show you, which is the Avon Care Softening Moisture with Macadamia Shampoo. Really, really hydrating, even for the scalp. Uh, my fiance, who has a dry scalp, uh, swears by this. <laughs> he actually finished the whole bottle almost all by himself. <laughs> this one I have discovered through Latest in Beauty. Um, it's the, from Baptiste, the overnight deep cleanse dry shampoo you would put it on uh, before you go to sleep uh, massage it in and then when you wake up your hair is supposed to be nicely uh, refreshed and it really does work for me so um, yeah I'm, uh, I'm convinced about this one I'm not a huge fan of Batiste dry shampoos but this one is really nice I had this one ages absolutely ages I think this one came through Lettuce Beauty as well. Must have been like a freebie or something. Uh, so I have the Sheer Blonde um, hairspray. It has kind of like a medium hold, which is something that I prefer. I don't like it super, super strong hold. Um, and it has like a little bit of a, a shimmer through it. Not shimmer. What am I looking for? Tint to it. So that's why it's for blondes. Okay, I've got skincare next. Let's talk about this one, Skin Sense by Abby Cleave, the anti-aging micellar toner. I've actually used this one as a micellar water. I should have included it with the cleansers. Um, other than that, it wasn't that great. Smells nice, but as a toner, it felt a little bit useless. <laughs> it says, remove last traces of makeup and the grime of, of the day in one simple step. So basically, I've used it as a micellar water. Uh, something that was in my empties before. This is the last one that I owned. 
now that it's gotten a little bit warmer i really enjoy this one it's the daily defense moisturizer with spf 50 plus um in the past when i used these it didn't feel like it was moisturizing enough obviously i used this i used them during the winter but now that it's getting warmer i actually do prefer this type of um texture and having something with spf 50 is actually quite useful to have as moisturizer in the summer i will have to check it out and see how much a full size of this is I think I will enjoy it over the summer. Another cream that I really enjoyed, another one with SPF 50 that I think will work great as a, a moisturizer, a, a summer moisturizer, because it's like an all-in-one step, is the Daily Defense Moisturizer with Vitamin C. So as you can see, it's just a sample, but I've, I've really enjoyed it. It sank into my skin very quickly, so when it does that, you can apply a little bit more, so you make sure that you get like, if not the full SPF, at least close to it and it smells citrusy so it's like a nice scent as well uh, vitamin c is also supposed to help spf as well and you know help with glow and everything else um i know how much this one is this is 12 pound for 50 ml sometimes it's an offer for 10 pound um but it was really nice also from Avon, the Clear Skin Rage, the Blemish Clearing Patches. I finished these ones. Um, these patches don't work for me. I have some from another brand, they still don't work for me. I think the only thing that they do is that uh, when I put them on my spots, it stops me from picking up my spots. Uh, but I don't know, it doesn't seem to do much. Maybe it just accelerates the process a little bit. Uh, but I don't know, it just doesn't do much. I'm just wondering, is it, is it me? So for my minerals, I have this retinol concentrate. Um, it's plant retinol. Um, right, I have finished this, but I haven't used it every single night, like in a row. I've used it now and again. So I can't say whether the retinol actually made much of a difference, um, but it didn't feel harsh or anything on my skin. So there's that. These are two creams from Avon. I use this one in the evening, this one um, as a day moisturizer. So I have the Avon Adapt Dream Cream. Whoops. Very nice scent for this one. Uh, this one is part of the perimenopausal range. But if you find yourself having dry skin or skin that needs a little bit more soothing, um, this range could be quite nice. It felt really nice, absorbed quickly. A nice relaxing scent as well and then for daytime I used the Oxypure day cream with SPF 20 um, this one is a little bit thicker I think it has mineral SPF in it which is why it makes it thicker but it didn't leave a white cast or anything like that uh, this one has kind of like a fresher type of scent um, and yeah it was all right quite affordable this one as well I finished this mask from Planet Spa, the perfectly purifying face masks with Dead Sea Minerals. So a purifying face mask works nicely. This one, I haven't finished it myself. This one was actually uh, my fiance who finished it, but I thought I would include it because if you are somebody who really struggles with dry skin, try this. It's worth every single penny. So it's from First Aid Beauty, the Ultra Repair Cream. And then the last thing in my skincare, I have the a new Skin Reset Plumping Shots. So I will show you how these are like. You get like these ampules, so you break them off and then you uh, just apply them to your skin. Uh, you apply them before your moisturizer. They can be a little bit much um, to use especially if you have oily skin so what I've done is I put like half of it onto my hands applied it to my skin and then put the half of it uh, again and then apply that to my skin and it worked so much better it's my second time using these um, and then the first time I tried to apply the whole thing in one go and that was too much uh, so if you do half let it absorb a bit and then do another half it works much better um, Protinol is supposed to stimulate the production of collag collagen in your skin and I do see a little bit of, of a difference in my skin. It just looks plumper and more radiant and um, I do have some deep wrinkles setting in um, after I use like the whole uh, week worth of this one. They do look less deep. 
So yeah, um, you're supposed to use this every month. Obviously I'm not using them every month, but whenever I need like a little boost, these are really good. And lastly, I have makeup empties. Uh, right, trying so they don't roll. There we are. So I kept this so I know what it is uh, when showing you. It's the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. Uh, there would be a little bit left, uh, but I had it for quite a while. I had this little sample. I got it through Sopost and I got another one um, in my makeup drawer anyway. Uh, this is shade 4 and the one that I have currently is 4.5, which still works quite well for me. really like this one. Um, if you're into radiant foundations, dewy looking foundations, this one's really nice. I have finished this from MUA, the Blush Liquid Cream Blush, shade Misty Rose. Very nice, beautiful, blends so nicely. Um, a really lovely everyday shade. Yeah. Okay, let's two mascaras I have from e.l.f. the Big Mood Mascara. This has one of those really big um, brushes. As you can see, I have some left. But once mascara hits three months, I tend to uh, discard it. <laughs> this worked quite well for my lashes. The only gripe that I had with it was that it flaked throughout the day. Um, but yeah you get a really nice effect on the lashes so that was a good mascara especially for the price uh this one i got in a was it sort of a collection box uh one that i had for ages in my collection and i finally pulled the mascara out which is the Estee Lauder sumptuous rebel length and lift mascara um i found this one gave quite a bit of length to my lashes not so much lift um, a very wet formula, uh, but it worked quite well on my lower lashes. I'm not interested in getting the big size, so the full size. Hmm. I have this Lash Effect Primer from Max Factor, the Max Out Blue Primer. Works quite well if you apply it in at least three coats. It does say, say uh, over here, apply three coats or more uh, for optimal result. And it does help mascaras look even, you know, better, I suppose. <laughs> um, my gripe with this one was the color, though, because um, if I get it on my lids, it shows on top of my eyeshadow. And also the brush can be a little bit scratchy. I finished this. This has been discontinued quite a while, although they did bring this back for a little while recently. The Show Glow Hall Chrome Lip Glow. This one is in shade, was in shade Rose Quartz. It's almost finished, like I can barely get uh, things on the brush. Um, really nice, really enjoyed this one. Um, nice and hydrating as well. Um, and I also finished the Eyebrow Designer Gel Mascara from Kiko Milano. Um, for a an affordable brow gel this one worked really well it works even better than um, I have like a flyaway control gel that you can use it as a brow gel or also for your flyaways and this one works for my flyaways better than that one which uh, costs about five times <laughs> the price uh, so yeah it looks in, it's looking quite grubby now but if you're looking for um an affordable clear brow gel uh, this could be a good option so these are all my empties i put uh, my bag for my empties over here so it's not like a completely uh, barren <laughs> you know background um if you enjoyed this video i would love it if you gave it a thumbs up if you're new here and you haven't checked out my videos um until now i would love it if you would and subscribe if you like what you see as you can see i have quite a good mix of products i have quite a bit from avon so i do a lot of avon reviews i do avon hauls and then most of the other stuff i get through lettuce and beauty so i do lettuce and beauty unboxings because uh, i have a subscription with them so if that's for you i would love it if you would subscribe if you are subscribed i would love it if you'd hit the bell so you know when i upload thank you very much for watching all the way to the end and i will see you in my next video bye